Hello guys, lots of features of your Amazfit BIP3 Pro can stop working, including some hardware too. So today we are going to discuss what things can be stopping work to work and how to fix those things. So let's get started with the video. So your Amazfit BIP Pro smartwatch cannot be working in many ways. Like your display is not working, your touch is not working, maybe it's not tracking your fitness data, or maybe it's not connecting to your smartwatch. In these cases, what will you do? So guys, if your touch is not working, just like my one is working here, if your touch is not working. So guys, if your smartwatch is frozen and nothing is working, the touch display button and everything is not working, then what you can do is hold this side button for 20 seconds and your smartwatch will reset. Let me demonstrate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And after 20 seconds, the smartwatch will reboot itself automatically. So guys, if your display is not working, like it's just dark and whatever you press, it's not responding, but my one is, so let's suppose it's not responding whatever we press and the display is just dark. There can be a few reasons. Maybe your battery is dead. Consider charging the smartwatch. Maybe your display is gone and it's working internally, but nothing is being shown on your display. That can also happen. But if this happened, you can't fix it yourself. You'll have to take it to a store or the customer care to fix the problem. Now, if it's not connecting to your smartphone, what will you do then? If it's not connecting, then it can be a software glitch. First, what you should do is restart the smartwatch by how will you restart it? You Swipe it down, swipe down from the home screen like this, then go to settings. Oh, sorry, not reference, you go to system. Then you go select restart and then restart it. And then you should try connecting it to a smartphone. And if it still doesn't work, then you should go to settings, then go to system and then factory reset the smartwatch. And after that, it will need to connect to a smartwatch and without connecting it will not turn on. In order to pair your smartwatch to your smartphone, you'll need the smartphone and the zip app, which is here. And on the top left corner, there's a plus button. And then we have to select watch, then select Amazfit BPU Pro and accept the pairing request. And as you can see, it's paired and that's how it might unfreeze. Then it might connect to your smartwatch. And if you have any GPS problem or something, then you should try the same method. Reset your smartwatch, then pair it with your smartphone. And after pairing, when it's connected, as you can see here, updating GPS, your GPS location will be updated from your smartphone to your smartwatch. And obviously you'll need internet connection to do that. And it takes a bit of time. As you can see, it's taking quite a while. So as you can see, guys, our GPS is now synchronized and here's our smartwatch details on the Zip app. And if you found these information helpful or informative, guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.